Thanks guys. Morning guys. Chilly one today. Minus three and foggy. Just out on the long run for week four. I think it looks like I've made it through another week of training. Which is good. Uh, thankfully this was a deload week. So all the runs were easy. Not too much mileage in there. Just out on 10k for the Saturday long run. And that's it all wrapped up. Speaking of all wrapped up, I'm actually wearing a hoodie on top of my usual long and short sleeved running tops, which uh, yeah is very rare, but minus three, <laughs> not used to that. <laughs> I'm glad I've got it on. I used to always think that if it was cold outside, simply remember your gloves and your hands will be warm. But uh, evidently there's different levels of coldness and different levels of gloves. <laughs> And these standard woolly gloves, I can still feel the cold, especially with my arms swinging as I run. So, yeah. Helicopter, keep an eye out for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, let's talk about the training for this week. Uh, Monday was a 5k easy run. So, yeah, every run was easy this week, which was really nice. I kind of was feeling it after uh, the end of last week's training. So, uh, on to Tuesday, it was 5k easy plus strength training. So, straight in the garage gym after the run. Now with the strength training, I'm doing the barbell exercises for pretty much everything and I'm just alternating between two different workouts which should cover everything I need to do. So you've seen one of them, the one that includes the deadlifts, uh, the other one includes squats and dips and I'll show you that next time I record my strength training. So on to Wednesday, that was a rest day, and then Thursday was eight kilometers easy. Did an out and back in the dark. Thursday, I'll take my daughter to swimming lessons after school, so I don't have a chance to get out while it's still light. It was head torch all the way for that one. The beavers around here are really clever. Good stonework, guys. So on to Friday, last night, that was strength training by itself with no run. So that was nice and easy. I took the opportunity to push the intensity of the weight lifting a little bit. Um, what I like to do when I start a strength training plan is start with very light weights, gradually improve them, just increase them a little bit every time. Uh, as long as I've kind of hit my rep goal on the previous session and then over time they just creep up and uh, your body can gradually get used to it so that seems to be going well at the moment so today 10k long run on the Saturday is the final run of the base building phase it's just called base in the book um, and then next week we move on to hills and strength. So uh, quite a few hill sessions over that four week period. And uh, I'll bring you along. The one area I'm struggling with a little bit at the moment is diet and nutrition. Uh, whereby 
we haven't really got into a routine with the grocery shopping since we moved house uh, we're trying to save a bit of money where we can and I haven't always got everything I'd like in the house so uh, I need to make sure I'm getting on top of the shopping side of things so I can eat what I intend to eat and not just anything that's in the house uh, which I have been doing lately so something to work on there Now as you may know, this training plan I'm doing is for the 50k Spire Ultra um, I think it's just over 50k the race itself and I've never done an Ultra before and my main kit issue at the moment is not knowing what shoes I'm going to wear obviously not the mud claws <laughs> because they don't have any cushioning the T Hoka Torrent 2s I'm wearing today are the only pair of Hoka shoes I've ever owned and I do really like them I wore them for both my 10k racers and the only thing I would improve about them is slightly deeper lugs on muddy days and slightly wider toe box because my uh, little toe just press against the side a bit so what I have been looking at is the speed goes either the 4 or the 5 whichever I can find in my size I'm not sure whether to go for wide or not I'm not sure whether it's best to try and find somewhere that sells them uh, where I can try them on so there are things going around my mind at the moment with regards to getting the right shoes for race day the race is May 13th and we're coming towards the end of January now so I want to have a few miles in the new shoes before race day so I know they work okay for me but I'm still open to other choices um, the speed goat may not be the one but uh, they do get lots of good reviews and uh, lots of people do run ultras in them so if they suit me as well as the torrents then yeah they could be good so the battery's starting to go on the GoPro guys so I think we'll end it there it's been another successful week week four done on to week five which is hills and strength next week so i'll hopefully catch you there thanks guys see ya thanks guys 